Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cap at Home uh, Live, and we are coming to you in our after-school hours. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. Again, my name is Miss Allie, and today we are going to be making these really awesome uh, witch's feet drawings. So tis the season of Halloween and trickery, so we are going to be making these really cool and really fun witch's feet drawings. So um, I'm going to switch over to my drawing board. I will tell you what we need to get started, and we will be on our way. So just give me one second here to set up. So like I said, we are going to be making these really awesome witch's feet drawings, and um, they are super simple, very cute. Um, great for everyone to do and to hang up um, for our holiday that is coming up. Also, just really fun thing to just draw, even if you don't celebrate Halloween. So, what we are going to need with us today is a blank piece of paper. Um, you can use blank white paper if you want, but you can also use um, colored construction paper. I've used white or paint. Oh my goodness, I've used yellow here. I am going to use pink for my demonstration. Um, but any color will be cool. Um, you're also going to need some, a pencil and eraser. We always start our projects with pencil and eraser first. Um, and then I always recommend a black marker, um, or a black crayon. And then something to color it in with. I have crayons with me today, um, but markers, colored pencils, um, even paint would work. So any of those things will do. So let's get started on making our really awesome witch's feet. So the first thing that I like to do, this is a really easy way to do something in even divided squares without um, actually having to use a ruler. So sometimes what I like to do is um, really lightly fold my paper in half so I'm not making a super big crease. Open it up and do it again. In this way, the reason I do this is because to help draw everything evenly, I now have, if you can kind of see, this nice even fold um, across. And so this kind of helps us create even four squares um, on our paper. So that is why we do that. And then this is also when I have you guys take your pencil. And like I said, I always have everyone start drawing with pencil um, and then going over things with marker. So the first thing that we want to do is actually start at the bottom two squares drawing our witch's feet. And if you see here, I like to do these sort of funky witch boots. Um, if you want to use a different shape, you are totally welcome to. But this is my favorite shape. So the easiest way to draw that is to start slightly below the folded line and then kind of close to the folded line. And I'm just sort of drawing a um, just sort of drawing a rectangle. And right at the edge of the rectangle, I might I'm gonna add a little swirl. And um, to show you what that looks like, I'm doing these so, sort of tall boots to show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do that in marker. And I like to add the swirl here because this will be the top of the boot. Um, and then we're going to finish up the rest of this boot. So the edge of our boot, if you've ever looked at a boot, sort of is like a rectangle. And then we're actually just going to follow this up with a curve. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that is our boot. And we're going to do that same thing on the other side. I'm um, just facing the other way. So if the edge of the boot is here, it's going to be the same on the other side. So again, we're just going to kind of start drawing here. And I always like to kind of do this part first. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But that's pretty close to the same, right? So we have two boots here. The next thing that we want to do is add the top line um, of our witch. So if you see here, um, the top line up here is like the hemline or the bottom of her skirt. So I have kind of like this zigzag cut open skirt line, but you can also do something that's more wavy. You could do these like kind of zigzag triangles. It could be like, there could be rips in it. Um, it doesn't even have to be a skirt. Um, it could totally be a um, pants if you wanted them to. That's totally up to you. So what I like to do is like, let's say it goes from here to here add those marks and then um, I'm gonna kind of draw I like this sort of each it's not really the same 
And so that kind of is the bottom line of my uh, skirt or my pants line. And so, and I kind of like these because I like that it's not the same length. I think that's kind of fun. So we have that and we have our boots. Now we have to draw in the legs. So we're missing some legs here. So what we want to do is actually just draw two rectangles connecting from the bottom of the skirt down to inside the two edges of our boots. And they don't have to be perfect lines. Um, I'm not using a ruler or anything. It's just about, that's a that's pretty good, it's about as straight as we can get it. And now we get to do the fun part and add some details. So this is when, like, if you wanted to make your leggings or, like, so I would assume since it's kind of cold, we're in October, uh, we might want to add some, like, let's say our witch has leggings or tights on and they're patterned and colored. So maybe we have stripes or polka dots or zigzags. So let's say, um, I love me some zigzags. So let's say one leg has zigzags, and let's say there'd probably be another one up here. Okay, and let's say the other one has circles. I love polka dots. They don't even have to match. They can match, but they don't have to. I'm a fan of the mini patterns. So it could be like you could be basing it off a pair of leggings or a pair of pants that you actually have at home. So they can be two different colors here. Um, we can also add a couple other details if you wanted to add some like patchwork looking things into the top of the skirt or you wanted to add like more ruffles or something, lines. Um, and then for the boots, you could add some more details too. You could add, um, they can have something like this where it looks like the buckle on the boot or you could do something where we actually have like the laces which I like to just represent with some X's going up on the sides here. You can also add like a little heel on the bottom here just like that and then the most fun part to add our finishing touch before we color it in is to add something on the side. So I love drawing the little spider that hangs down as our little detail. He's our little friend. You could also, if you have more room, you could do like a witch's broom on the side um, if you wanted to. So that could be as simple as drawing something like, let me grab this piece of paper. If you wanted to draw a broom, it could be as simple as something like this. you know, simple broom shape, or you can draw a spider, which could look something like this on the side, hanging down. Or totally up to you. You don't have to draw anything on the side at all, but I think it's kind of fun to add something. So I like, again, like I said, I like our little spider friend. Um, you could even draw more than one, so I'm going to have mine kind of right here, and I know I'm going to color him in black, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right here. Got to add little legs. My spider has six legs, but your spider could have more. All right, so there's my little spider guy. All right, so we're at the point now where this is pretty filled in. Another thing you could do is even add like a line where the um, where the boots are as like our the ground line. So we could go ahead and add that in. And so we can see that this is the ground the boots are standing on, and this would be like the background. So you could color all of that in too. So now we're at this point. Looks how you want it. You add all the details you want. You could even add shoelaces if you wanted. You know, you're at this point. Maybe those will be different. Those two tips will be different colors. So you're at this point. You have all your details. Then you can take your um, coloring utensils and go ahead and color those in. So... Um, anything you want. So if you see in my example, I have lots of different colors, um, and that's great. And I think it looks really fun when you have lots of different colors. You could also stick to a color theme if you wanted, um, just like specific colors in there. Um, you could even start by just coloring in the uh, background, and I am going to have another piece of paper under me because sometimes that makes it uh, smoother to color on. So you could color in the background. 
And again, I used colored paper because uh, just normal colored construction paper. That's what I had um, available to me. But you are welcome to use any uh, colors that you have or just white paper. Um, anything that you want. It could be bigger paper than this. You can cut the page in half if you need to. Really make it your own. And that's the really cool thing about it. We could add so many details. We could all add the basic shapes. But we could all add our own little details. Um, they could all look so different. And that's the really cool thing about it. Like you and people in your household could all um, be doing this project. And they could all look so different. So maybe you want to color in the skirt. I like purple. Maybe I'll color in. And notice how I'm trying to, trying to color in. The lines here not trying to I'm not scribbling trying to fill up the space and you can totally take your time with this and I know witches are kind of supposed to be scary but I think if I had a witch with um, polka dot and striped colored tights if I met a witch like that I don't know if I'd be scared I think I'd want to be their friend So yeah, you just want to take some time to color that in. And this can be kind of relaxing too. Nice little relaxing project. You could even draw, like if you had, say, let's say you have siblings or there's four of you in your household, you could all draw your, um, this would be a really cool game, you could all draw one and try and make it in the colors or tights or pants that you guys all wear. And then when people uh, come over, you could see if other um, family members or uh, guests could guess which uh, feet belong to which member of the family or the household. That might be kind of fun. I might have my uh, sister and my dad and my mom make one and see if we can see if other people can guess uh, who made which one. That I think would be pretty fun. So yeah, you just want to spend some time doing this. Again, that can be fun. Take as much time as you need to fill in these. So um, that is pretty much the basics of our uh, really awesome looking uh, witch. Um, and you can fill it in and do as detailed as you want. That's kind of the nice part about it. There's no like rules where you have to color in everything. Um, or things have to be a certain color. It's totally up to you. It's your witch. Again, so you want to make sure that you um, draw everything in person, starting with your feet and then um, then drawing the hemline and then the legs. Um, draw everything in pencil first. Then you can go ahead and erase your, um, erase your pencil marks after you've outlined it in marker. Um, and then once you get through all of that stuff, um, well, maybe I don't want that color, then you can go ahead, color everything in, color pencils, markers, crayons, even paint if you want. Um, and then add, you know, have all your little details with you. And then take some time, really spend some time coloring this in. So I'll finish coloring mine in and post it with you. So when you get to your finished part, it will look something like this. So you want to draw it, outline it then you can color it in. So it might look something like this. I'm going to spend some time finishing mine up and I will post it for you all to see. Um, but this is your finished drawing. So when you get to the point where you're completely finished, all your eraser marks are, or all your pencil marks are erased, uh, then you want to make sure you clean up. So we love clean up here at CAP, so we want to make sure we put everything back where we found it. Um, Right, or make sure we put all of our eraser shavings in the garbage. Since we didn't use that many materials, you might actually just have them all in a cup on your art making desk or wherever you do your crafts. So when you get to this point, you can show them off and see, um, have everyone see your really cool witch's feet drawing. So again, uh, thank you for joining me on Cap at Home this evening. My name is Miss Allie. Um, and make sure to join us tomorrow at 4 p.m. for another really fun cap at home art making tutorial and if you miss any of our 
um, videos and you want to check them out, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube channels where we have all of our videos posted for everyone to view. So thanks for joining us. Hopefully I'll see you guys again uh, tomorrow and next week. Have a good afternoon and make a really cool witch drawing.